My name's Brandon Gailey, and in this episode of The Blog Millionaire, I'm going to reveal the three SEO tactics that I've used to get over 35,000 first page rankings on Google. These rankings drive over 1 million visitors to my blog every single month. The first tactic that I'm going to share with you is the perfect title formula. There's a reason why post titles are more important than the actual words of the blog post. Google click-through rate is a major component of the Google algorithm, and the post title has the biggest impact on Google click-through rate. If your post doesn't get clicked, then it's never going to have a chance to rank high in Google. And several studies have shown that 8 out of 10 people will read the headline copy, but only 2 out of 10 will read the rest. And here's the perfect title formula. It's odd number plus superlative, plus the exact keyword phrase. An example of this would be 21 for the odd number, best for the superlative, and photography tips for beginners. Another example would be 11 great WordPress plugins for SEO. The exact keyword phrase is going to be taken from phrases that you identify during your keyword research. Whatever phrase you want to rank for, you want to make sure you use that exact keyword phrase right there in your title. You might be asking yourself, why do you start your blog post title with a number? Well, it's because people prefer to click on titles with numbers because they expect to get an article that they can easily scan. And it's also been proven that people prefer titles that start with an odd number over an even number. A study by a conductor looked at the overall headline preferences, basically looking at different types of titles and what compelled people to click. And the first column that you see is the number one, which means any title that starts with a number, and that was clicked on more than anything else. And here's another study that showed that the odd-numbered headlines got clicked on 20% more than the even-numbered headlines. Studies have also shown that by strategically placing your superlative in the title, it increases the click-through rate. And here are some superlatives that have been proven to produce an emotional response. Free, new, best, greatest, better, sensational, amazing, important, remarkable, unique, simple, and secret. In the conductor study that looked at headline superlative preferences, it was found that the headlines that had at least one superlative were clicked on 78% of the time. The next tactic is the meta description tease growth hack. The reason why you need to take the time to create a great meta description is that most bloggers competing for a first page ranking are spending time creating a great post title. So that's something you have to make no matter what. But the meta description is often overlooked by even the best pro bloggers. When it comes down to two posts that are competing for the number one ranking, the meta description can be the big difference maker. In case you don't know what the meta description looks like in a Google result, I've highlighted in yellow here so that you can see exactly what you're trying to create. A great meta description can make the difference between ranking number three and ranking number one on Google. And looking at the organic click-through rate by search position, the number one ranking gets 350% more traffic than the number three ranking. The first thing you need to know about the meta description is to use the right number of characters. The majority of meta descriptions get cut off right around 156 characters by Google. If you end up going over 156 characters in the meta description, then it's going to get truncated by Google with the dot, dot, dot. I recommend using between 140 and 150 characters for all of your meta descriptions. Here's an example of a meta description that gets truncated because it has too many characters. As you can see at the very end where I've underlined it in red, you can see it says when sitting up and then it has dot, dot, dot. And here are the results of a Moz study that looked at the average cutoff for meta descriptions. As you can see, it's right at 155 is where the majority gets cut off. And here's a study by Rival IQ that looked at how many meta descriptions were missing, present, or too long across different websites and blogs on the internet. It's amazing that 28%
of all of the blogs and websites were missing a meta description altogether. And when it came down to it, only 34% had the correct character count. Googlers are used to seeing the dot, dot, dot at the end of descriptions. And you can take advantage of this by creating a meta description that intentionally truncates the description. Let me show you an example of this growth hack in action. So when you look at the top of this slide, I've got a result of one of my posts that is using the truncated T's. As you can see, the title is in blue, which is 11 on-page SEO best practices. And then right below that is the description, and it reads, there are 11 on-page SEO tactics that pro bloggers use to get ridiculous results. The one tactic that plays the biggest role in SEO is dot, dot, dot. The first sentence gets them excited by saying, there are 11 on-page SEO tactics that pro bloggers use to get ridiculous results. Then the second sentence delivers the truncated tease. It says the one tactic that plays the biggest role in SEO is dot, dot, dot. This makes it very hard not to click and find out what SEO tactic plays the biggest role. The third big tactic is to write long form blog posts. Whenever you sit down to write a blog post, you wanna target at least 2,000 words for that post because across the board, there are statistics to support that long form posts with 2,000 or more words perform better across multiple indicators. This means better Google rankings, more social shares, and more inbound links. Backlinko did a recent study looking at the impact that the number of words had on Google position and they found that the top three positions on average had more than 1,950 words. A study by BuzzSumo looked at the average shares by content length, and you can see once it hits 2,000, 3,000 words, there's a huge jump in total shares on Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, and everything else. And finally, HubSpot found that blog posts with more than 2,000 words received more inbound links. If you want to get free access to all of my SEO and blogging growth hacks, then take a quick second to subscribe to my podcast. Follow the big orange arrow and click on the small icon in the bottom left-hand corner to be taken directly to my podcast right now. This will allow you to become an SEO master while listening to each episode on your daily walk or your commute to work. I want to thank you for taking the time to listen to this episode, and I'll catch you in the next one.